This is how NHL stars spend their millions. And we gotta start with Max Domi, because he spends his checks on something he's always dreamed of. Yeah, ever since being a little kid, Domi has always loved shoes more than anything. I'm a huge fan. I follow all the drops. I, I love it all. And that's why as soon as he started getting paid, he started buying sneakers like crazy. Ben and Jerry Dunks. Easy. Tom Sachs. Off-White Forces. Off-White Jordan 1s. Travis Scott's. And tons of other rare pairs of Jordans. No matter where Domi goes, he's always spotted repping some stupidly expensive sneakers. And when you add all of his shoes up, in total his collection is worth over 200 bands. But that's literally the cheapest thing in this entire video. Cause Tyler Sagan spent millions just to satisfy his need for speed. It all started in 2014, when Sagan signed a $35 million contract with the Stars. And after securing the money, he decided that it was time to treat himself with something nice. First, he copped this fully customized Jeep Wrangler for 140 racks. But he wasn't done, cause after copping the Jeep, all he could think about was buying more cars. And just a few months later, he bought a brand new Maserati Gran Turismo S, worth 150,000. And after a car like that, there was no coming back, cause after driving around in this thing, Sagan was instantly hooked to the speed. But he knew that if he wanted to be seen as a real car guy, he also needed something more classy. So he got himself an all blacked out G-Wagon. This beauty set him back a little over 300K. Damn, I wish I got money like that. But all those cars still wasn't enough for Sagan. Cause after signing his newest contract, you can just guess what was the first thing he bought. This white 500 horsepower Ferrari 458 Spider worth 240,000. Sagan was on top of the world. He loved his new car, and everything seemed perfect. Until, one morning, he found his car totally wrecked on the parking lot. Yeah, someone had committed a hit and run, but his car getting hit actually turned out to be a blessing. Cause when delivering the Ferrari to the dealership to get it repaired, Sagan found the missing piece to complete his collection. He saw this $1 million Ford GT and instantly brought it home with him. And with that, Tyler's whole car collection is worth 1.86 million. That's crazy, but nothing compared to what these other NHL stars bought. Like Eric Carlson. Yeah, after signing the biggest contract by a defenseman in league history, Carlson also started spending his money like no one else. Yeah, Carlson saw few of his teammates driving to practice in brand new supercars and thought he also needed one. And um, he did buy a few more than just one. Cause he copped himself a whole collection. Lambos, couple of Mercedes, a green Jaguar, Porsche Cayenne, Porsche 911 Carrera, and to top all of that off, a $283,000 Ferrari F12. In total, Carlson has spent around two mil on all of his cars. But cars ain't even Carlson's biggest passion, cause he loves something even more than his whips. Icing his wrists? Yeah, ever since getting into the league, Carlson has spent hella money on expensive timepieces. He owns multiple Rolexes, including this green Rolex Submariner worth 32,000. But we all know Carlson. Of course, one of these wasn't enough for him. So he also copped a blue one with another 30 racks. And on top of all his Rollies, he also has a $28,000 Hublot, this beautiful $115,000 Royal Oak Offshore AP, and not one, but two Pateks. This white-faced Nautilus worth 88,000, and a black-faced one worth 120,000. Yeah, I literally couldn't find a single picture of this man on the internet without a watch on. Look, he even wears one while cycling. That's wild. But I haven't even told you about Carlson's craziest watch yet. Cause when he saw a Jamaican runner was going viral on Twitter for wearing a Richard Mill on the track final, he instantly retweeted it stating power move. And ever since that moment, Carlson knew exactly his next big purchase. This titanium Richard Mille RM-030 worth over $300,000. And you just know Carlson wasn't gonna let anybody miss this beauty. Cause he made sure to flex it even in his newborn's birth picture. Ha, this man is a legend. But speaking of legends, Mario Lemieux's purchase is one of the smartest in all of sports. In 1998, the Pittsburgh Penguins were $100 million in debt and were forced to declare bankruptcy. But the problem was that they still owed their captain Lemieux $26 million in salary. But instead of suing his own team, he got a genius idea. 
Mario bought 25% stake in the Penguins by converting his missing salary into ownership. Yeah, this man was at the same time the owner, captain, and leading scorer. That's wild. But the wildest thing about all this is that Lemieux and his ownership group were able to increase the revenue by 240% and make the team one of the best in the league. And in 2021, when they sold the team to Fenway Sports Group for $900 million, Lemieux's $26 million had turned into over $360 million. And after Lemieux's little investment started rocketing, he just had to ball out. Lemieux went ahead and bought one of the craziest houses I've ever seen. This 17,000 square foot lakefront mega mansion in Montreal. Lemieux's mansion includes over 50 rooms, a huge garage, pool, tennis court, outdoor grilling area, a guest house, his own gym, a spa, and a whole ass movie theater. All of the rooms have a beautiful view of the nearby lake. Wait a minute, is that slap shot on the TV? Damn, even Lemieux is a fan, so why aren't you? Don't be shy, man, subscribe. Anyway, in total, this mansion cost Lemieux $22 million. But what the goat owns makes me feel even more poor, cause Wayne Gretzky has been spending his millions on mansions too. In 2007, Gretzky and his wife custom built this 13,000 square foot mansion, located in Thousand Oaks gated community in California. The house features six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and two entire guest houses. Gretzky's mansion also has a large swimming pool, a full-size tennis court, and a large garden. But just after finishing the house, Gretzky sold it to former baseball player Lenny Dykstra for $18.5 million. Dykstra eventually got into debt and had to get rid of the house. So Gretzky bought it back for only $13.5 million. And after buying the house, Gretzky sold it again, this time for 22.5 mil. Yeah, Gretzky might be the goat off the ice as well, cause he just finessed the man for $9 million. But in addition to luxury living, Gretzky also prioritizes luxury travel. Cause everywhere Gretzky travels, he flies private. And that's why every year he uses over $300,000 just on private jets. And when you got money like Gretzky, you can do whatever the hell you want, even mock Justin Bieber while flying. But speaking of Justin Bieber, we have to talk about how his best friend Austin Matthews spends his millions. Cause this man is truly living like a superstar. Not only has he bought multiple supercars and expensive watches, but the way he spends his off seasons is on a whole new level. Growing up in Arizona heat, Matthews cannot spend the whole year in cold Toronto. And that's why he owns this modern $3.2 million mansion in Arizona. The house has a modern decoration with five bedrooms, six and a half bathrooms, large floor to ceiling windows, and a big outside hanging area. This is where Matthews spends all of his time in the summer. But he also needs something to spend his checks during the season. And that's where his jewelry collection comes in. Matthews always has a chain on wherever he goes. He even wears one while playing. Cause every time he's on the ice, he has his $2,500 David Yerman around his neck. And when he's not on the ice, he's icing his ears with $1,000 earrings. If you also count up Matthews' watch collection, he spent well over 150 bands on jewelry. But Connor McDavid spent his money on something that got him flamed on social media. Yeah, in 2017, after securing a new contract, Connor was tired of renting. So he started looking for a perfect house to buy. But after taking a close look at the house market in Edmonton, he realized it was full of shit. So he did the only logical thing and called up all the best designers in Edmonton area Depot and started building his own mansion. This massive 8,000 square foot mansion located in the most expensive neighborhood in Edmonton. The crib has its own movie theater, indoor basketball court, pool table, huge wine cellar, personal gym, two saunas, and even a heated driveway. Yeah, McDavid really is living like that. And all this cost him $4.6 million. But Connor thought he would get off easy and everyone would love his custom build house. But as soon as the internet found out that he spent four mil to live in a huge box, all of Twitter started flaming my man. And McDavid learned his lesson, cause after buying a seven figure vacation home in the States, he never gave away the location or what the house looked like to the media. Yeah, so you'll probably never know what the house actually looks like. And you'll never know what NHL stars wanna keep secret if you don't click this video right here. 
and man, if I were you, I couldn't go to sleep tonight without knowing. So just trust me on this and click it. Luca.